Hi, right, folks. Jimmy Stewart here. Hope this is finding you all doing well and a very happy, healthy, and safe 2020 to you. So today, folks, I wanted to do something just a little bit different beginning of 2020. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of things about the Groat guitar online uh, sold through Amazon. And um, some people have compared them. Uh, they have a 335 type model, which is, I guess, similar to the Firefly 338. Um, but I didn't need to get another one. I have three of the Firefly 338s, as, as most of you know. So uh, I want, still wanted to do a comparison to kind of get an idea of the quality of the grout compared to the quality of the Firefly and those types of things. So what I ended up doing was buying this guy right here. Now this is the Grout. Uh, I think it's an E or G B 003 or something like that they call it, but it's listed on the Amazon site as the Grout Electric Jazz Guitar. It is a hollow body. It's not a semi. It's a full hollow. There's no there's no um, divider coming down here. There's no wood block coming down the center of the guitar. So it is hollow on the inside. Now on mine, which I think what they're doing on the newer versions of this, which this is, is they're putting a small block here under the floating bridge. And I can see it in there. So there is a small block, but there's no block coming down through the center. So it's considered a full hollow, not a semi-hollow. It is an arch top. It's got an arch to it. Uh, one thing I do like about it that I wasn't aware of, and it doesn't show it on the uh, the pictures on Amazon, is that the this is the it comes in three different versions. There's a red, I think, a natural, and this the uh, they call it the uh, vintage sunburst. And as you can see, it's pretty nice. Um, and then the sunburst goes around the back as well, which the Firefly doesn't do that, and I kind of like that. It is a thin. It's very thin and it's very light. I'd say it probably weighs around the same as the Firefly FFTH, one of the, uh, the thin line tellies, about the same weight. Um, obvious differences in this is there's no cutaways. This is a basically a type of copy of the Epiphone Century, uh, maybe a Gibson 125, something like that, around the same body size. It has a single uh, P90 pickup in it which is, again, one of the things I was looking for that differentiates the guitar. Uh, as you know, the 338s uh, from Firefly have the double humbuckers in them. This has got a single P90. Um, it does have a floating bridge. It's a tunomatic on top of a, uh, a wooden bridge, uh, just your standard volume and tone control knobs, the pick guard. Um, this came in. The frets were very nicely done. Uh, no, no sprouting, no sharp edges. Uh, they were nice and polished. Uh, as you can see, it's got the marker on the first fret. Uh, so it's a smaller scale, actually. I think this is a 21 or 22 fret guitar. Um, the tuners are, I would say, on the equivalent side to the, um, to the Firefly. Uh, not the best, but they do their job. They've been, they've been hanging tune fine. They're, they're not binding and they're not making little noises or anything when you turn them. So that's, the nut was actually well done. It's cut right. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's some type of, I don't think it's bone, but I also don't think it's plastic. I think it's some type of resin type of, of nut on there. Not quite sure. It is a fixed neck. neck. It's a fixed net, not a bolt-on. Um, bindings all around. Bindings in the F-hole, too. Uh, now, on the picture on Amazon, it doesn't show that. It shows this bear. So, I actually got a hold of Grout, and this is the updated model. So, the ones, the pictures on Amazon are not quite what you're going to get. You're going to get the uh, this one that's got the bindings and the F-holes. It's going to have that little wood block in there. Uh, one of the things they took away, now, if you look at the picture on Amazon, it shows you a nice metal embroidered... Um, uh, truss rod cover here that says Grout since whatever the year was, uh, 1989 or 1979, I can't remember. But it says Grout on here, and it's supposed to be a metal a metal type of bridge. This is just a plain black one. But they said they were going to send me one. So I said, fine, you know, go ahead and send it, because I did contact them and ask them about some of the changes they made. 
So uh, they're going to send me the uh, the embroidered uh, uh, cover for the for the truss rod. Not that it's you know not a big deal, but it's nice of them to do that. Uh, these do have a serial number on them. Uh, and what else can I tell you about this? Uh, what I'll do is I'll 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 do a nice uh, video to cut in here uh, and show you some up close stuff of the guitar, and uh, we'll take it from there. So here's the grout. I think that's how it's pronounced, anyway. You can see it's got nice, nice bindings in the F holes. P90 pickup. Nicely done neck. There's no sprouting, no sharp edges. There's the plain truss rod cover I got, and uh, they were supposed to send me a embroidered one, which they are doing. You can see it's pretty thin. And the nice back on here. Sunburst through the back. You get your bindings on both sides. It is a straight neck, not bolt on. Didn't take the plastic off the back of the tuners yet, as you can tell. And there's the serial number and stuff up there. <clears throat> I didn't take the plastic off the pick guard yet either, so I'm just going to leave that on. I leave it on for a while until I really think I'm going to keep it. Keeps it from getting scratched up before I'm ready to get it scratched up I guess you could say so there's the 338 so you know in, in terms of depth let's take a look they're pretty close with the 338 just being a bit wider oh do that. So there they are. Like I said, weight-wise, I think the grout weight's about the same as a uh, as my uh, FFTH there. There's the other one. So they weigh about the same, I think. It's a pretty nice guitar. Now, obviously, it's not a Firefly, and it's not uh, doesn't compete with it. I don't think. I, I think it has its own little thing going on. I know they make a you know three three five type of uh, copy like the three three eight, and some people who liked them. Uh, I'm sure they play fine. I just don't have one, and I wasn't going to buy one. Uh, I mean, after all, I've got three of the three three eights. I don't need another one to compare it to. But I didn't have anything like this, which is, you know, no cutaways, single P90, more of a jazz type, shorter scale. And it fits the bill, and it, I think it sounds pretty nice. And uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it was a bit more. This was like 169 on Amazon, and I think I paid 129 and 139 for my, for my uh, FFTHs and my 338s. And quality-wise, uh, I'd say it's on par. Um, it's got some of the same little pieces of flaws here and there, you know, on, on the paint and just a couple of small things, but nothing, nothing major. Just like my fireflies, it was nothing major. There was a couple of dots. I can show you on the back here. You can see it. See the black dot. There's a couple of those. It's underneath the finish. You know, it's just a little bit of overspray. But otherwise, it's not bad. Didn't have any chips, nicks, or any of that kind of stuff. 
uh, pretty well done. Uh, I'm happy with it. And uh, it puts that, uh, puts that little bit of niche in the arsenal that, you know, we all want to get for as less money as we can, as we can spend. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to play this a little bit and give you an idea of how it sounds unplugged, just, you know, like an acoustic type guitar and what kind of projection it gets from the body and type of thing. So let's try this. Now what I'd like to do now is do the same thing with the uh, the Firefly 338 just to give you the difference between how this sounds unplugged acoustic compared to the Grote jazz guitar. So here we go. Same pick, same strings. The strings are identical. I'm using uh, uh, D'Addario uh, 9s on both guitars. So this time I'm going to do it again with the 338 here, and uh, I'm going to come out of my 15 watt uh, mono price stage right amp over here, tube amp. Um, just going to put a little reverb on it, and that's it. I'm going to run this in the bridge pickup because uh, this has only got the one pickup, so we'll try to make them similar. Um, this has got a humbucker, obviously that's got a P90. So right now I'm running uh, the guitar at about three tones all the way up and the amp is on like two, okay? Also on the one watt setting. Um, so here we go, let's try the same thing and let's see what it sounds like. Let's try the same thing with the uh, with the jazz guitar, the Grote. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, take the Grote here and do the same thing we just did on the 338, and you know just see how these compares. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
There you go. So in wrapping this one up today, uh, let me just say that I don't think this grout, anyway, um, the jazz grout, compares to the 338. Uh, they're, they're two different guitars, although they're in the same vein. Now, obviously the 338, dual pickup, uh, dual humbuckers, a uh, little bit bigger body, cutaway, um, you know, more of a rock and roll, blues type of thing. Although I think the, I think the, uh, the Grote will also do that. It's got that nice P90 in it. The P90 does sound good. Uh, it's very similar as far as um, the finish and how that guitar comes to you for, for that price point. Uh, it's, it's well done. Um, I can't say a lot of bad things about it. Two things that I didn't like, and I'll mention these, was that uh, obviously it's a little bit more money. Uh, it's about $20, $30 more than the 338. Um, the shipping in box on this was pretty bad. Uh, the They only single box it, and I wrote a letter to Grout to mention that to them. Uh, I don't know how many guitars they get back that are broke, but uh, single boxing that guitar with just small little pieces of uh, styrofoam in the, in the butt and then on the... Uh, the headstock to protect it, uh, wrapped in a, in a plastic bag. Uh, I was really surprised mine didn't come damaged, uh, but it didn't. It was it survived and it was great when I got it. Um, as far as setup and those types of things, I did the same thing to that guitar that I do to every guitar. Um, I let it acclimate for a while, uh, usually a day or so. Uh, I play it, um, determine what it needs, and just about every guitar I've ever bought, I don't care. I've got I got Martins, I have Fenders, I have Gibsons. Uh, first thing I do is change the strings. Um, I then, you know, usually condition and uh, the fretboard and polish it up. Um, you don't know how long it's been sitting either at a guitar store or in a warehouse someplace. Uh, so I always do that. And then, uh, you know, set the action the way you want it. I like it a little bit low, and I use nines, so uh, the action is going to be a little bit different. But those jazz players might want it higher, uh, and, and probably some flat mounds or something on there they want. Uh, it just depends. But uh, that's how I do mine. Uh, so set it up to your to your liking, and mine mine plays great. Uh, it sounds fine. Um, kind of a vibey type of sound. I, I wouldn't play it acoustically. I mean, it's fine for practice or something like that or sitting around, you know, jamming with folks, but it, it's not an acoustic guitar and it doesn't sound very good as an acoustic guitar, but it does, you know, it has enough sound that you can play it and not disturb your wife or something if you were in the living room just jamming around on it. Um, the other thing I wasn't quite uh, liking about it is the way the p90 sits i wish it sat a little bit higher up to the strings but i think i could fix that without too much issue uh it sounds fine again right now we'll just just bring your amp and the volume of the guitar up a little bit to to get it to match uh, the sound that you're looking for um so quality wise i think it's a it's on par i mean it really is uh with what you're getting uh from firebird when the firebird uh, fireflies come in it's it's very similar it does cost more money um, so there's that. Um, so there you go. That's my take on it. Anyway, um, I, I love my fireflies. They, they, I've got well, I got quite a few of them now. Uh, so uh, I'll never give up that. But uh, for something that Firefly doesn't make, and as far as I know, you know, they might have something on the drawing table for next year or the year after or something. But right now, they don't do anything like this. So. Um, I felt the niche for it, and uh, there you go. So there it is. So that's it for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you'd like. Uh, I'm not a huge YouTube channel or anything like that. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just a guy that uh, enjoys music, enjoys guitars, and enjoys trying to share that kind of information with people when I get a chance. So uh, click the little subscribe button if you would, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you next time. So Jimmy Stewart saying so long for now.